Hey, this is a segment on a series of lessons around modeling through flipped instruction. You can see um, from this document that I'm working from here. Um, so if you haven't gotten to this document yet, you can enter that address into your web address bar and it will take you there. So I'm talking about when doing flipped instruction, some ideas about what you actually do with students in class. So if you go down here and click to this heading, it will take you directly to that section. Um, so I want to spend some time talking about planning your lesson. Um, ideally, before getting into this, you'll look through some ideas for what you can do during class um, by content area and just generally thinking about how you can take students deeper once they have uh, the initial content or thinking or preparation that you want them to have in class. So when you click on this link to the basic planning guide, it will take you to this document. Now, this is very simple um, and if you want to make an editable copy of this you can go to file uh, make a copy and then you can edit it yourself uh, but really what uh, we're trying to do is have you think about number one what do you want to do during class so if you start from that point of view what do you hope to uh, accomplish or the activities you want to do um, and even the outcomes what do you want students to leave with so an example of that might be um, complete a lab on solutions. All right, so what do students need to know or understand before entering class in order for number one to happen? So remember the flipped model, you're hopefully, you're preloading some of that content so that you can spend more time in class doing the application. So, so maybe they need to know the definition of solution and homogeneous. Um, give some examples of a solution or create their own solution at home. Those are all things that you would want them to do. So then now to number three, what do you need to provide in order for them to get what they need? Uh, perhaps you could make a video um, describing that um, or find one that someone else has made so that you don't have to go through um, the time to make it. Then you can go into your plan for class time and try to break that down bit by bit. Are you going to start with a Q&A to make sure that people understand what they need to understand? Um, or you could go right into your lab prep. Um, you could even include the lab prep as part of the video, you know. So these are things that will help you to kind of fine tune your flipped lesson planning um, and hopefully will help you be more effective in doing so. So thanks for listening.